Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Mr. Brandon. <laughs> How was your day? It's okay, teacher. Thank you. Great. Also, right? Thank you. Hello, Denise. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Hello, guys? teacher. How are you, girls? ¿Cómo me les fue, chicos? It was a good day today for me. Okay, that's great to hear that, right? And you, Rachel, how was your day? Rachel? I ha I don't know, but I, I think that I have problems with the audio because I didn't give you in a in a good lover. I hear you slowly, right? I don't know why. I'm going to check it later, right? Okay, welcome guys. Welcome Michael. Welcome Christina. Who else? Let me see. Okay, guys, we are eight o'clock, guys. And some of you are not connected yet, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Five, just five connected. And we are going to wait four minutes. The other can connect it, right? And then we're going to pass the list. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent, Last Michael. Good night. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Hi, fine, thank you. Are you arriving at your home? Just arriving? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So that's that is why, right? You are you were in your way home, right? Sorry, teacher, que no le había contestado porque estaba entrando a la casa y como. No worries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to wait four minutes and then we are going to start with the class. Okay, for a while I'm going to open the platform and the list. Okay, just give me some minutes. Okay, vamos a ver. Hello, hello everybody. How are you? Welcome. Hello, Miss. How Hello. are you? ¿Cómo estamos, George? Fine, very fine. Okay, excellent. Great to hear that. Hello, Freddy's. How are you? ¿Cómo me las fue este día, chicos? Um, very good. Okay, um, very good. Sounds like more or less, hard, right? Very good. Hard, hard working. Okay, so it was hard. Yeah. It was a hard day, right? Okay. Okay. Hard day. Ah, no, that's too bad to hear that. But tomorrow is going to be better, okay? Tomorrow we are going to make the things better, okay? All the things is going to be better. No worries okay. for that. <laughs> okay, thank you okay. for sharing. Magicals. Okay, mira. Si no les escucho a veces es porque, no sé, creo que me están fallando los headset. Porque se ven bien allá, suavecitos. Y por rato se ven bien. Entonces creo que vamos a ir cambiando el, el equipo porque si no, ya no vamos a poder escucharlos bien. Ok, chicos. Bienvenidos sean todos. Espero que hayan pasado un excelente día, ¿verdad? Pues para los que no lo pasamos tan bien, ¿verdad? Pero esperemos que el día de mañana será mucho mejor, ¿verdad? Mucho mejor, much better, como dice la canción. Much ok, better. Right, pues vamos a empezar con la lista. Estamos ya conectados 11 people here. So that's me, we can pass the list. 
I'm going to pass it because I tend to forget it. And then we're going to start to speak with the class and we are going to lose time. And maybe I forget that, okay? So for avoid that, we're going to start with the list, okay? Vamos okay. a ver. Let's see. Where are you guys? Just let me look for the list. <clears throat> Miren que me quiere dar gripe. Let's see. Okay, this is seis. What are you guys? Ah, pasamos. Okay, let's start. Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galán. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Daniel Present Ernesto. Teacher. Daniel Ernesto. Thank you, Cristina. Thank you, Cristina. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present. Thank you, Denise. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edith Adili Hernández Chacón. Fredis Ricardo Landa Verde. Present. Okay, thank you, Fredis. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you, George. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Eduardo Reyes. María José Escobar Portillo. Present. Thank you, María José. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. I'm here. Thank you, Maritza. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Michael. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Thank you. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Ok, de Jesús Emésica Carranza y Verónica Lisset Portillo de Castro. Here, teacher. Thank you, Verónica. Ok, guys, so the, the day previously, previously, we were talking about what? A ver, who remember that? I always make this review, ok? In order to be sure that you, are, you already get the topic in a completely way, ok? So, could you remember what we were studying before? Comments, a vocabulary, sentences, something like this related with the class that we were discussing be before, guys? Yes, we were practicing uh, questions and answers uh, with do, did, I think, and does, and what was and where. Okay, so we were discussing about the auxiliary verb did in past, right? Past tense, yes, no questions, right? But with the auxiliary verb D. Okay, muy bien. Who else? ¿Qué más? The simple past tense. Okay, we're talking about simple past tense. Uh huh. We were practicing in simple past with okay. exercise. Uh -huh. We were practicing simple past with exercises. Muy bien. What else what we, we can add to that information? No more? Okay, so yesterday we were talking about, so you, as you said, right, before we were talking about past, simple past, but with auxiliary verb did, we were touching the affirmative, negative, and interrogative form, right, of past tense. And also we were talking about what you have to add if you are going to use an affirmative form, the verb in past. So remember it. The rules that apply to so the verb that end with e, you are just are going to you are going to add d at the end, right? Or if the verb doesn't 
Uh, and with that, you are going to add ED, right? But these are the irregular verbs. Talking about the irregular verbs, remember that that changed totally the base form, right? So, and also we were talking about yes, no questions, right? Yes, no questions using the auxiliary verb D, okay? La forma de contestar corta, verdad? Yes, I did or no, I didn't, right? Using contractions, using the word not or the long form if you want to use it, but both are okay. You can use it, okay? So what we're going to do? Now we're going to continue talking about that because today we have a little bit practice, okay? And for that, because we were making practice yesterday, we were touching practice before also, I have print, uh, I have brought, sorry, I have brought a uh, practice on my back, just one, okay? And then we're going to try to continue with the exercise that we were making and we didn't finish yesterday. Do you remember that? The questions that you had to finish, you had to work in pairs or in group and you have to answer. And then you had to ask to your partner each other, okay? Each other, can you repeat each other? Mutuamente, ahora tienen que preguntarse una a la otra mutuamente, ¿ok? So, for that reason, we are going to make just the practice first and then we are going to pass to your manual, ¿ok? Because today is the day of practice, ¿ok? About past tense. So, any questions so far, guys? Any questions about this before pass to the practice? No? Everything is okay. Can, can you explain again, please? Okay, but uh, what do you want to explain? The guidelines for the practice or the topic? Uh, no, for the practice, I don't okay, know. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to make the practice, right? Online, okay? I'm going to share the link in the WhatsApp group. And we are going to explain the guidelines there, what you are going to do. And we are going to have a reading right now. And then we're going to pass to the practice that we were uh, making yesterday, right? And we stopped because of the time, but we are going to continue. But first of all, we're going to make the practice online. Okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to share. Just give me some minutes, guys. I'm going to open the WhatsApp group. What's up? Mm -hmm. Let me look for that. Recuerda que el día de práctica, verdad, es para que usted pues pueda complementar el conocimiento que hemos estado pues adquiriendo en la clase previa a la práctica. Solamente he traído una porque este a veces nos lleva mucho tiempo. ¿no? Entonces, y no podemos continuar con el manual, por eso es que he traído solamente uno. Ok. Just give me some minutes. Ok, ahí está. Trabajemos despacio, no las jolotemos, pero recuerden que ahora es práctica, ¿verdad? Usted tiene que, pues, tomar su tiempo, ¿verdad? Ok, I'm going to share. Ok, just give me some minutes. Ok, look at this. Let's talk about reading comprehension exercise, right? This is another level of exercises that I have brought because you have to develop your reading comprehension too, right? Previously to this, we were making just simple exercises in which you are going to apply the, the auxiliary verb did, right? In positive, negative, and in question. But today we are going to try to read and understand what the reading said, and then we're going to try to answer with the words that they are going to give us. For example, a nice weekend, past simple or simple past. Regular and irregular verbs. Put the verbs in brackets into past simple, right? They already give you the, the verb between parentheses or brackets, right? 
and you are going to pass it to the past tense. It depends on what the sentence says. It's going to be negative or it's going to be positive, right? Remember that there are some verbs that are regular in which you are going to add ed or just did. And there are some others that you are going to change totally the base form, okay? When you are going to look for that verb, you are going to look in the internet if you want, right? You can uh, get that resource for you, right? Okay, to answer. For that reason, I told you, take your time to answer this exercise. It's not necessary that you make it fast, okay? The points that you had to make the practice, you have to understand what you are going to do, okay? So you are going to read this. You are going to write the, the verse that you have between this, okay? Just apply the, the rules that apply to the past form of regular and irregular verse. After that, you are going to write if the sentences is true or it is false. Depending, depending on what you have read here, right? For example, Anne and Kate didn't have nice weekends. So you are going to find out these answers in this paragraph, okay? After you have read that, you are going to answer this and you're going to say it is true or it's false, right? Then in part number three, <clears throat> find the proper sentences in the text to describe the picture, use simple pass, okay? So what we are going to do, you are going to find the proper sentence in the text on this one, right? That describes the picture, what they are doing, or what were they doing? Okay, Seronella, what did they do? ¿Verdad? Entonces eso lo va a ir escribiendo aquí. Ta, 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 ta. Depende de lo que diga este párrafo, ¿ok? Y viendo la, la fotografía o la imagen que tienen acá, así van a hacer la oración que corresponde a cada una de ellas. Luego de eso, en part number four, after that, right, you are going to answer the questions that they make. For example, where did Anne and Kate play with a ball? So you are going to write it down here after reading the, the paragraph, okay? And so on, right? You are going to answer up to the number eight. After that, you are going to write it. What did you do at your last weekend? Write about your weekend activities. ¿Qué es lo que hizo el fin de semana pasado? Me va a crear un pequeño parapito donde usted escriba qué es lo que hizo el fin de semana pasado, ¿ok? ¿Qué actividad estuvo el fin de semana? Si fue a algún lugar, fue a comer algo afuera, ¿verdad? O sobre su casa en televisión y qué más hizo, ¿ok? In past tense. ¿Es clear? Clear. Yeah. Ok, perfecto. Yes, clear. Yeah. So, go ahead, guys. By the way, if you have any questions, please let me know, please.
Ok, vamos a ver. Let's see, guys. George Hernández dice, ok, George, 8 of 10. Congratulations. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, somebody else. Ok, vamos a ver. Ale, ok, Denise, right? Ok, Air Tim, also. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. It was difficult, it was more or less, or easy, right? Morelia. Air Tim, ok, excellent, Morelia. Congratulations. Thank you, coach. You're welcome. Somebody else, how do you how how do you feel that it was easier? It was difficult, it was more or less. Okay, Maria Jose, eight of ten, also, right?
Okay, this is a coincidence. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, somebody else. Also, guys, <laughs> okay, eight or ten. Hmm. <laughs> Curious, right? Curious. <laughs> I don't know why. You got eight or ten, everybody. <laughs> Okay, somebody else? Or oh, do you need more time, guys? Let me know, guys. One more, and then we're going to check it in. No sé qué es lo que me da la alergia, pero siento para que me pique la nariz. I don't know, guys. Okay. Somebody else? Please tell me something, guys. Cric, 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 cric. Right, vamos a ver. Okay, so let's start, guys. Let's see what are the answers of this. Okay, let's take a look at this. We are going to have the past, simple past of each word that you have here. Let's read the reading, okay? So, Anne and Kate, Kate had, right? Had a nice weekend on Friday evening. They... They were, because there are more than one, right? Mm -hmm. At the playground. They, they played with a ball. On Saturdays, Kate helped, helped oh. her mother, right? Her mother, the girl cleaned. Clean or clean? Cleaned. Cleaned. Okay. Clean. Va, este help puede ser este irregular o puede ser regular. En help. este caso hemos aplicado el regular, forma regular. Porque también está con la T, que es helped. Helped. Ok, pero esa es la oh. forma irregular. Este puede, puede pertenecer a los dos bandos. Okay, ya with, les voy a dar ahí la lista. With the help. Help. Ajá, vaya, esa es la forma irregular, pero, la forma regular, perdón, pero también existe la forma irregular que solamente tú le agregas la de aquí, help. Ok, pero en ese caso vamos a ocupar la más común, que es help. No sé si a ustedes les salió buena así o lo pusieron irregular. Regular. Sí, sale buena. ¿Verdad? Ok, perfecto. Entonces la plataforma ocupó la forma regular. Vamos con lo siguiente. The floor and... What? Wash. Wash. Ok, because and with CH. Mm. Yeah. The teachers, then she... Play. Played. Muy bien. Computer games. Oh, On Saturday evening, Kate... Okay. When, 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 to the zoo with her parent, she, she washes, the, she washes, right? She washed, 
watched, in este caso, lions and monkeys. There. Lions and, and was. Was at the was cinema the on Saturday, right? She was. She was. She, she was. An, an interesting cartoon, right? In the evening and welcome. Woke. Woke. Okay, woke. Woke. Her dog woke in the park on Sunday and in Kate. Where? Where? The beach. They swam, swam in the river. The river. The girls. Uh -huh. Had a lovely time in the evening. They got home and got. did their homework. And then Kate well, went to bed, to bed early because they uh, had they had to, to go to school on Monday. Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. Right, if the sentence is true or false, N and K don't have a nice weekend. False, false right? False. On Friday evening, N and K play at the playground. True. True, true right? Let's see. On Saturday, N cleaned the floor and washed the dishes. False. False, false right? Now, okay, watch, watch with T, right? Tigers and elephants at the zoo. False. Is false or is true? False, teacher. False, okay. False. Okay, vamos a la siguiente. And didn't swim in the river. True or false? False. False, false because they... They swam in the river, right? On True. Saturday evening, the girls did their homeworks. No. True. True. Or false? True. 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 Okay, let's see. No, I'm sorry. This is part number three. Find the proper sentences in the text. To describe the picture, use simple past or past simple, right? In this case, what they are what are they doing? ¿Qué estaban haciendo? They the movie. Hi, they, they watch the movie, right? So, en no, este caso, por, por acá estaba, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Cartoons, parece que decía que estaban viendo. She watches, right? Yes, cartoons. Cartoons, right? Okay, perfect. So, let's see. También quiero ver dónde estaba. No, pero es el zoológico, right? Entonces, la que más se apega, ¿ok? Vamos a escribir. They, or she, ¿verdad? She watched cartoons. ¿Ok? Cartoons. She watched cartoons. Letter B. What is the best a sentence that describes what you have in the picture? Visit the zoo. Uh -huh. On Saturday evening, Kate went to the zoo with her parents, right? Kate went to the zoo with her parents went to see with her parents okay vamos a ver la siguiente letter C what is she doing she played mm -hmm. computer games okay por acá está verdad the evening dice por acá acá está then she played computer game. Okay. Vamos a ponerle aquí. Then. No, no lo sabe mal. She played. Computer. 
¿Lo pusieron con el DEM o lo pusieron solamente con la oración, chicos? Sin el DEM. Okay, perfect. The plate right. está mal, teacher. Sí, I know, I, I already know. It. Thank you so much. Plate. Okay, okay. the last one, guys. He walked. What? He woke. Her. Her dog. Her dogs. Okay. Oh. Her dog. Pusieron puntos al final. No. Yes. No. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Vamos con la siguiente. Answer the question. So we have some questions about the reading. Where the end and Kate play with a ball? They played. You ver? This is they play with a ball uh, in the playground, right? On Friday evening, they were at the playground. They play with a ball. Mm -hmm. Playground. Playground. You ever? Lions on the stars playground. Floor, okay, they say playground, ground, yes, it is that. Playground. Okay. How did Kate help her mother? Como ayudó Kate a su mamá? Clean the floor and wash the dishes. Okay, she cleans the floor. Okay, she cleaned. The dishes. Así lo puso los dos. O solamente uno puso Brandon. Los dos. Okay, perfect. Se la tomó como bueno. Dishes. Okay. Dice, where did Kat go with her parents on Saturday evening? Vamos a ver. ¿Dónde fue? ¿Sada en la tarde? Okay. Sí. She was her. She? She went to the zoo. She went to the zoo. Okay. Vamos a ver. And afternoon, Saturday, Kate, help her mother there. Mm, okay, Saturday, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, perfect, thank you. She, she uh, and enter. She went to the zoo. She went to the zoo. Vaya, vamos a where was Anne on Saturday? Where was Anne on Saturday? ¿Dónde estaba en? Oh, pero es difícil, ¿verdad? Porque el, sá, el sábado fue, estuvo en su casa, y en la tarde fue en el, fue el zoológico. I was at the cinema. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, so and was at the cinema. Ah, ok. See, this, this is in general, right? She was, thank you so much, Kate. Yes, Maritza, pardon. <laughs> she was at the cine. Cinema, right? Teacher, I put this answer, but I have grown. I don't know why. You answer it this way? Yes, that's the, the answer that I put. So okay. in the cuando lo califique me dio malo. No okay, sé. when you got your phrase, it was wrong. Los puntitos, el punto al final. 
Ah, okay. So in this part, you have to specify the points. Okay, thank you so much for the information, Maritza. Teacher, mm -hmm. in uh, number two, you have uh, to watch it. Just wash it. Oh, okay, it's wash. Yeah, wash. Es que, es que les digo que me está fallando el headset. No me está, no lo escucho bien, lo escucho allá suavecito. I'm going to change it. So in this way, it's okay, right? Wash it. Watch it. Okay, so let's see number five. Where did Anne walk her dog? Where did Anne walk her dog? Um, so where do we saw her dog in the park? Okay. Okay, she, sorry. She walked her dog in the park. Okay, cool. Right? Let's see. Number six. What did Kate and Anne do at the beach? Okay, zero names. Okay, so K and N. They did. Oh, no, no, no. Vamos a ver qué lo que dice. They did. No, no, it's not they did. So, vamos a ver. Someday, N and K were the beat. They swam, okay? They swam. In the river, right? Okay. This one in the river? This one in the river. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, let's see number seven. Why did the girls go to bed early? Answer guys, volunteers. Because they have to go to a school on Monday. Because they had, right? Had in pass. Yes. To go to school on Monday. Okay, and the last one. Did Anne and Kay have a lovely time at the beach? Yes, yes they, did. they did. Yes, they did. Fine, right? Okay, so and here you are going to write a paragraph using past tense. For example, what did you do last weekend? The me una oración. Cada uno. Volunteers? One, two, three, four. Four volunteers, okay? I visited my family. Okay, I visited, I visited my family. Okay, I visited my family. I went to the supermarket. The supermarket, okay? The supermarket. Next, I saw a movie. Okay, I saw a movie. Okay, another one. I went to the museum. I went to the museum. Museo. How do you say it? You in see the it. Form? Okay, I went. The museum, okay. Next, I spent time with my boyfriend. Uh -huh. I spent time with my boyfriend. Okay, spent. Uh -huh. what else? I ate 
I may, supongo. Ah, I may, ok. Y no me dice, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> ok, pupusas, ok. So, that's great, guys. Thank you so much for helping me, right? I hope there wasn't some mistake right here because you already know that I, sometimes I, I do that, right? But it's not just we want, we want to make it. It's because maybe the keyboard or maybe it's another thing, right? Because I didn't notice about that and I a little bit choca, como dice, right? Okay, so let's check it. Me sale toda mal. Look at this. <laughs> so what happened? What happened here? Quiero ver dónde me equivoqué. Am I one mistake? I don't know if you are going to put capital letters there. She was at the cinema, right? And was cinema. Ah, so you didn't use the personal pronouns. It is just with the name. Okay, perfect. But I don't know what did this sentence is about, right? She played computer. Does this, you have to use the name here, I guess, but I'm not sure, right? And she played computer games. Le faltó la S, teacher. Games. Okay. Thank you so much. So that is why, right? También me salieron malas, así que no sé. <laughs> no, pero algo tiene que ser. Tal vez el nombre. In this part, uh -huh. you have good the letter D. Uh -huh. And I wrote, uh, she walked her dog in the park. Ah, uh, entonces no faltó in the park. That is why, guys. Mm -hmm. So tenía que ponerlo exactly como estaba, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's the way. Sorry. But eight of ten, also, right? <laughs> I don't know what is your coincidence. <laughs> sospechoso. <laughs> sospechoso, muy sospechoso, right? <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're going to stop here with the practice online and then we're going to pass to the manual, okay? Bye. Recuerden, chicos, que esta es la, donde, la última semana. Hay que aprovechar. A los chicos que no me han terminado la semana 3, please remember to finish this week, please, because this week we are going to finish and maybe they are going to make you their certificate or something like this. I don't know if you have uh, received a message in which they are going to tell you that if you have to finish. Por ahí vi uno que decía... Lo de los minutos, ¿verdad? If I no mistake. Dice Diana, ok. Diana, Victoria, ok. You can do it again, ok. The most you practice, the most you learn. No worries. <laughs> mm. That's happened, right? Online, that's the problem. You have to write exactly what you have there. If you don't write it down, you're going to get a bad answer, right? But it's not just because you don't, you don't know the answer. It's because there are some uh, specific details that you have to put it, okay? Like me, right? Okay, no worries for that. So let's pass it to the manual, okay? Just give me some minutes and I'm going to open it. Let's see, we were on page, let me check. On page 40, 45, if I'm not mistaken, right? 44, okay, 44. Yes, I want to see. I'm going to share it, just give me some minutes. Okay, guys, so we were here, right? So this is an activity that you are going to make in the breakout rooms. You are going to 
construct the sentences or the questions in this case, right? And then after you finish to make the questions with the verb and the personal pronouns that you have in brackets, okay? So you are going to start to answer or asking to your partners and to your partners is going to answer that questions. For example, I'm going to make the questions. For example, um, did you did you meet your boss yesterday? Did you meet your boss yesterday? And your partner is going to tell you okay, or is going to answer. Yes, I did or no. I did it, right? Is clear? Yes. Okay, so you are going to continue with this activity. And after that, guys, we are going to pass to another one. These are a group always, okay? We are going to write seven questions about past events and interview one or two classmates, then share with the answer with your class. So what you are going to do, you are going to write seven questions in past events and you are going to interview your partner if it is true if it is false or what they what they do or what they didn't do okay for example did you went to the supermarket yesterday did you go to the beach uh, the last sunday did you write the report a uh, last week and those kind of questions you are going to make it and then your partner is going to answer that question with these, right? Short answers. Remember that you're going to use, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. It depends on what you are going to answer, right? Okay? So we are going to make it both because we have to those activities that are in groups. So we are going to take advantage to the breakup rooms, okay? So it's clear what you're going to do. Yes, teacher. Okay, if you want you take a picture, in order you have the, the, the pictures and you're going to take notes about what you are going to do in the words, okay? And about the questions that you have in the first part, in activity five, and then you are going to pass to activity six, okay? But remember, you have to make first the questions and then you have to answer and make the questions to your partners, okay? We are going to get in trials, 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 okay? In order to make it more fast. Let's see, we are 18. Vamos a ver, let's see, 18. Okay, vamos a hacer siete. Por los que no se conectan, ¿verdad? A veces, si hay alguno que esté solito, lo voy a cambiar, ¿ok? Go ahead. Vaya, vamos a cambiar a María José con Daniel. Sala 5. Vamos a cambiar a Jorge de Sala 5. Ok. George, la Inés Díaz, se cambié a Sala 5, al igual que eh, a María José, ya se cambió. Ok, thank you so much. Vamos a cambiar a Ana Victoria. Con Fredis, que es a la 3. Ok, George, te voy a cambiar a la 4. George, lo cambié a la 4. Ok, ah, ok, ya sé. Thank you so much. Vamos a ver, entonces vamos a cambiar a María José a la 3. María José, la cambia a la 3, please. Ok. 
Okay, Brandon, te vas a enviar a... Sala 1. Brandon, lo cambié a sala 1, por favor, movámonos para sala 1.
Teacher. I'm sorry, teacher, de aquí molestándola. ¿Qué Cree pasa? que me puede, me puede unir de nuevo a la sala 5. Por fin. Y, y no estás ahí, Daniel. Ahorita te estoy viendo que estás ahí en la sala 5 y estás afuera. Como, no sé qué pasó ahí. <ríe> ¿Qué Ah, truco teacher, hiciste? usted no sabe lo que yo estoy haciendo ahorita. ¿Qué estás haciendo? <ríe> Destruyendo el mundo. Destroy the world. Ay, no, no o sea así. Lo que uno es al grupo de los iluminados. <ríe> Vaya, ya te, ya te cayó la invitación. <ríe> What are you doing? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Cómo vamos? Hi, teacher. Oh, Maritza. ¿Ya practicaron? Sí. Yes. Haciendo las preguntas. Yes. <ríe> sí. Hoy, ahorita se han unido los más rápidos. No me percaté. Hubiera puesto uno intercalado para que ni subieran los demás también. Ni bien. Ok. So, you teacher, finish everything? Casi, casi. Oh, en la en la número 5 tengo la duda si se trata de pasado participio porque veo que trae el have y luego el fun o sea, pero no los han, o sea no, no se intercala entre ellos el el, el to no no es que Marisa Fun es divers, diversión, este, está funcionando como el nombre de diversión, no es verbo, por eso es que no te aparece. Did you have ah. fun at the Christmas party? ¿Te divertiste o tuviste diversión en la fiesta de Navidad? Ah. Por eso está el verbo have. ¿Tuviste uh -huh. diversión en la fiesta de Navidad? O sea, que fun no lo toman como verbo. Ajá, okay. no lo toman como verbo, lo toman como nombre. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. That's okay. why, ok. ¿Another question, guys? Uh, no. Ah, las preguntas que vamos a hacer solo van a ser con did o va, se puede usar was. Or... No, aquí solamente son con did, Maritza. Ok. Ok, Bye. le va a preguntar a, a Brandon y Brandon le va a preguntar a Alex y Alex te va a preguntar a ti y así se aumenta más intercalar, ok, sweet, 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 sweet. Ah, ok. Ok, Alex. y luego pasamos a la actividad número 6. ¿De qué me perdí? Que se me... Se me... <risa> es que el internet me estaba sacando, entonces mejor cambié mis datos. Sí, no no sé qué... responder las preguntas y entre nosotros nos vamos a responder. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. O sea, van a, aquí lo que van a hacer es armar las preguntas y luego se van a preguntar así, este intercalado, ¿verdad? Y luego okay. ustedes van a responderla como usted, con su información, ¿verdad? Porque si usted no fue a una conferencia en julio, entonces pues usted va a decir, no, I didn't, right? Or I didn't attend, if you want to use the long form. Ok. 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 Y así sucesivamente. Luego de eso, después de que se preguntan todos, ¿verdad? Unos hacen preguntas, otros, pregun otros contestan y después cambian los roles. El otro pregunta y el otro contesta. Es decir, para modo que practiquen los dos lados de, las pre de la pregunta y la respuesta. Luego de eso, pasamos a la actividad 6. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Ok, excelente. Ayúdame a leer a Alex. Please, Alex, ¿estás ahí, Alex? No, creo que no está. No estoy. Bueno, no, no Continue, ¿ok? I'm going to skip okay, the other words. Thank you so much. Ok. Done.
So we are going to Hello, girls. Hello, oh, oh, chicas. Hello. I am confused with number five. <laughs> number? <laughs> number five. Ah, okay. So you have questions about number five also, right? Uh, what is the question, Denise? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, uh, como con respecto a qué? ¿A qué vamos a responder? Ah, okay. So number five say, eh, did you have fun at uh, the Christmas party? Te divertiste en la fiesta de Navidad. Pero, okay, ¿cuál fiesta? Ah, en la Navidad pasada, right? So we are going to like. Uh, if you want, you can. Know. If you want, you can invent. But uh -huh. if you don't want, you can tell the truth, right? You can say I didn't assist to the Christmas party. Or maybe, yes, I did have fun. Or no, I didn't, right? Because this and that. The point is that you have to speak, okay? Try to speak more. Mm, okay. Extend <laughs> your answer, okay? <laughs> we, we, didn't, we didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do only, that. <laughs> no, only with yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Okay, perfect. No worries. But you have to switch. If you are going to yes. be the person that is going to uh, uh, make the questions first, then you have to make uh, the, the opposite. You have to answer that questions. Somebody else is going to ask it to you, okay? Okay, okay. So you are going to switch, you are going to change. First you are going to answer and then you are going to make the question. And así sucesivamente. Van a intercambiarlo con Morelia, con Verónica y contigo, okay? A modo okay, que las, okay. las todas hagan los dos lados de la, de la pregunta y la respuesta. Ah, ok. Y luego de eso, chicas, vamos a aprovechar siempre los break and roll. Vamos a hacer la actividad 6, que es escribir las siete preguntas acerca de eventos pasados, ¿verdad? Y vamos a, vamos a este, entrevistar a uno de los compañeritos. En este caso, pues ustedes van a intercalar siempre, ¿verdad? Y ahí sí van a escribir qué es lo que respondió cada uno de ellos, ¿ok? Ok. Luego lo chequeamos en la clase. Ok, thank you so much. Ok. Vaya, voy a dejarles trabajando, sí. voy a chequear el otro grupo, tal vez en la misma pregunta, porque ya con ustedes son dos, right? <risa> so, thank you so much. Ok. Ok. No, I I was make the homework the homework. Okay. Oh, um it? next number four. Were you buried last weekend? Were you? Buried. Abril. Last weekend. Sería, did you work? Es, were. Did, oh. es, sí, sí. Ajá, did, que did were you es, no. Ok, sí. Sería, did you work last weekend? No, I didn't. Ok. No, I didn't. No, were, ah, ok, voy a meter mi cuchara. <laughs> <¿Cómo es? laughs> were yeah, you yeah. boring? But in, which, in which activity are you guys? In okay. activity number five or number six? Number six. six. Seven questions. So that means you already finished the number one. Yes. Yes. So you yes. answer and you and you make questions, right? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Todos. Ya se intercambiaron los roles. Eso está muy bien. Sure. Sure. <laughs> In the number six, yes. No, in this, in this is the number five. You have to make the questions using the auxiliary verb. Did here and yes. the personal pronouns and the the verb that you have between parentheses. For example, aquí tenemos you and meet. Entonces quiere decir que como una pregunta yo le voy a agregar el auxiliar did. For example, did you meet your boss yesterday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Vaya, entonces, cuando completemos todas las preguntas con el did. Ah, 
Es que esas ya las hicimos. Es que esas ya las hicimos. Ajá, ya estamos en las siete de aquí abajo. Ah, ok, pero todos intercambiaron. Pregunta, respuesta. Sí, sí respuesta. estuvimos los tres interactuando. Ahorita ya estamos en las siete de la, de la parte vamos. número seis. Ah, una okay. y una. Ok, perfecto. Vale, entonces eso es, es acerca sí, de, de eventos pasados, ¿verdad? Que le pasó, por ejemplo, en Navidad, en este, el año Porque pasado, something like this. Mm -hmm. Something that, is, that it was uh, important, right? And you are going to use this or where was, okay? This is up to you. Esa es decisión suya si utiliza was or where. Pero no me van a combinar el did y el was o el did y el were juntos, ¿ok? Porque los dos son auxiliares. O okay. es con did o es con, o es con was con or were. Where. Depende de la pregunta que vamos a hacer. Por ejemplo, si es algo acerca de estados, ¿verdad? Yo soy, yo estoy, o yo fui, yo estuve, es was o were. Depende del personal pronoun que estemos utilizando. Y si es acerca de acciones, ¿verdad? Que lo que hiciste el mes pasado, fuiste al supermercado, fuiste al, ¿qué? Al mall, fuiste al shopping center, something like this. Entonces vamos a ocupar D, ¿ok? Dicho, o sea, entonces si yo pregunto, ¿estabas aburrido? Tengo que decir, ¿were? ¿Were you boring yesterday? Were you boring? Ah, ok. ¿Estuviste aburrido ayer? Were you bored yesterday? Yes, I was. That's the question. Okay. That's the answer, perdón. Yes, I was o no, I wasn't. Okay? Por ejemplo, si usted le quiere preguntar, ¿Hiciste el reporte? Did you make the report? Did you make the report? Because we are talking an action. Okay? Porque estamos hablando acerca de una actividad o una acción. Entonces, ahí sí vamos a ocupar el auxiliar did. Did you make the report yesterday? Or did you make the report the last week? Did you send the emails last month or last week? Yes, I did or no? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Teacher, so I didn't. Solo, uh -huh. solo como aclaración para mí, entonces, uh -huh. was, were, is um, como estado personal. Did uh -huh. es, es alto de estado. Cada una acción que yo hice en pasado. Exacto. Okay. Así es. Es para okay. describir acciones. Ok, so, son los auxiliares que se ocupan para esa clase de preguntas. Ok. Ok. Pero siempre van acompañados de un verbo principal, ¿verdad? Take into account that. Ok. Ok. Um, Teacher, sí, for me, I write all my questions with it. Uh -huh. You wrote your question with it. Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, did you cook the dinner last night? Did you prepare the dinner last night? Yes, it is. It is okay because it's an action, right? An action. You did. may or prepare the dinner. So we are talking about an action. So that is why we use the auxiliary verb did. That's okay. And did you go to church on Sunday? Did you go always is an action? Okay, also is an action, so that's okay. Okay. Por ejemplo, este el was y el was se ocupa más que todo si está en un lugar, si estuvo, ¿verdad? En tal parte, o si fue, por ejemplo, eh, what, were you a doctor last year or were you in the hospital last week? Así, ¿verdad? Estuviste en el hospital o fuiste un doctor el año pasado, pero ahora eres otra, otra, tienes otra profesión, ¿verdad? Entonces, de ser o estar con el was or where. Okay. De acciones variadas, ¿verdad? De hacer, de caminar, correr, cocinar, preparar, ex, reparar, etcétera. Todo eso es acción. Entonces, con eso lo ocupamos, ocupamos el did. ¿Ok? Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, another question? No. no. Okay, let's no. continue practicing because I'm going to check the other groups, okay? Do it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, no, la teacher. 
تر 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 This is a poll. I am. Ah, the, 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 the true, right? You said it was the Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bad, chicos. ¿Se preguntaron no. mutuamente y intercalaron? Bueno. No solemos elaborar. Eso es necesario. Ahorita solo están elaborando las preguntas. Ya. Yeah. Vaya, ok. Vaya, después de que terminemos las preguntitas, tanto de la primera parte de la, de la actividad 5, ustedes se van a preguntar, ¿verdad? Y usted lo va a responder de una forma personal. Si usted no tuvo una reunión en el mes de julio, usted va a decir, no, I didn't. ¿Ok? Oh, yes, I did. The case is positive, right? Pero usted va a cumplir el rol de el que pregunta y el que contesta. Tienen que intercambiarse todos, a modo de que todos hagan los dos roles. Luego de eso, vamos a pasar a lo que es la actividad 6, en el cual usted está recolectando información también de sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Utilizando preguntas en pasado. Y eso sí, eso la vamos, solamente las vamos a escribir y luego las vamos a chequear en la, en la clase. Normal. Miren que allá, eso es esto, lo escucho ahorita bien raro, no sé qué le pasa a esta cosa. Quiero uno nuevo ya. Yeah? Your is I'm sorry. It doesn't work. My best. No more bien, creo que voy a comprar unos new ones. I'm going to buy new ones, ¿ok? I promise that. Bueno, chicos, vaya, entonces los voy a dejar que sigan trabajando. Cualquier preguntita, me levanta la manita y yo vengo rapidito, ¿ok? Si no, ya voy a pasar oh. chequeando otra vez. Ah. Ok, thank you so much.
Okay, guys, we are going to wait the other skin go up from the sala. So the breaker room. So we are going to stop start to ask me what they answer, right? With each of the sentences that we are going to make with the auxiliary verb did or the auxiliary verb was or were in past. Okay, so let's see. Let me see. I'm going to need some volunteers that can describe what they do, right? Or the the questions that you are going to make in and what you answer in that question. For example, the number, the duty number five. What was the questions? Vamos a ver, I'm going to share. What was the question? The number two. The number one, we already did it, right? So did let's continue she, with the number two. Uh -huh, Brandon? Okay. Did she attend did she, the July conference? Okay, did she attend to the Jul July conference? Okay, yes or not? What do you answer? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't, right? Okay, so let's see number three. Who we'll say number three? Did they stay in the meeting last Did night? Did they stay in the meeting last night? Yes or not? No, he didn't. No, they didn't. Muy bien, excellent. No, number didn't. four. Friends, number four. Tell me number four. Did he pass the test? Did he pass the test? Yes, he did. Yes, he? He he did, right? Excellent. Look, uh, let's take a look at another one. Okay, George Ernesto Hernandez Duran. Tell me number five, please. Did, did you have fun at Christmas party? Did you have fun at the last, uh, last Christmas party? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, right? Okay, excellent. Number six. Vamos a ver, Victoria. Tell me number six, please. Did it start on time? Did it start on time? Yes or not? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It, this is referring maybe a conference, right? Or maybe a party, maybe something that is not people, right? Remember that it is going to use it for talking about animals, things, and places or situations, right? So yeah. let's see with the number seven. George La Alberto La Inés Diaz. Tell me the number seven, please. They leave early. Did they leave early? Did they leave early? Yes or not? Yes, I did early for them. <laughs> okay, yes. They 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 early. They did, okay. Yes, they early. They did. Early. <laughs> Ajá. Ok. Yes, they leave early. Vaya, puede utilizar la forma larga o puede utilizar la forma no, no, no. corta. Porque es yes, they did o no, they didn't. O maybe yes, they lived early, right? In this case. Ok, let's yes, see the last one. Early. Thank you. Ajá. The, the last one. Vamos a ver. Who else? Victims. Eh, Rachel, are you there? Daniel, tell me number eight, please. Oh, no. uh, okay. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Did he arrive on time to the conference? Yes or not? Mm, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Right. In this case, you are uh, you are answered as you were he, right? So that's okay. So let's continue with the activity number six. Now we're going to try to interact more with the other ones that doesn't participate a lot, okay? So write the questions about past event and interview one of two classmates, then share the answer with your class. So let's see, Michael, tell me the number one, please. Teacher, mm -hmm. 
a question about colleague, about partner. Yes, could be a, a, about a, any event, but in the past. Okay. In my personal case, I asked my colleagues what they did over the weekend. Okay. okay. Nancy told me she was celebrating at her home. And George told me uh, uh, worked on the weekend. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. Number Thank two. You. Rachel, are you there? Ah, here we go. <laughs> Maria Jose, are you there? Yes. Okay, Maria Jose, tell me number two, please. Uh, okay. From the activity number six. I was working with Ana Victoria and Fredis. Okay. The answer that I did was did you went to the beach last Sunday? Okay, and did you went to the beach last Sunday? Yes. And they answered, answered right? Uh-huh. Yes. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, so they didn't they didn't go, right? To the beach. Okay, excellent. Excellent job. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Maritza, could you tell me number four, please? Or number three? Question, uh -huh. right? Okay. Um, what did you do last birthday? Okay, what did you do last birthday? Okay, and the answer? Ay, yo, yo misma la respondo. Okay, perfect, no worries. <laughs> no, era pregunta. <laughs> <laughs> oh well okay 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 um my last birthday i was celebrating my 23 years old okay i remember that i went to my job in the morning later mm -hmm. i went to the shopping with my mom and she bought me a dress and later my family got me gifts and Baby, uh -huh. in that moment I was very, very happy. Okay. So you were mm -hmm. very happy. So that's great. So you are younger, Maritza. 24, right? Yep. Okay. Younger. Okay. Congratulations. Vaya, vamos con el siguiente. Eh, Morelia Perdomo, are you there? Yes. Okay, Morelia. Tell me a number five, please. The number five... Uh... Did they go to the church last Sunday? And Denise told me, yes, they did. Okay, yes, she did, right, in this case. Okay. Um, los dos the, le lo mismo. Uh, the, the, the question is, did they go to the church last night? Ah, okay. Last Sunday, sir. Uh -huh. And... Denise told me, uh, yes, they did. O sea que le respondieron como espectador, no como personal. Okay, perfect. Yes. No worries. Thank you so much. Eduardo Reyes, are you there? <coughs> Rachel Campos, are you there? Rachel, Alex, do you have problems with the audio? Diana, are you there? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, Diana, could you tell me number six, please? Did you, did you do homework yesterday? Okay, did you do your homework um, yesterday? And the answer? The answer is yes, I did. Okay, excelente, um, Diana, congratulations. Nancy Saldana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Could you tell me the last one, please? Okay. Did you watch television? Bueno, esta es la fin que yo tenía, pero no digamos así. Uh, did you watch television at night? Okay, did you watch television at night? And the answer? I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, so it is in negative form, okay? So let's continue, guys. Here we have a short conversation, okay? When was the last time you attend to a training? What was the training about? 
Vamos a responder esas dos preguntitas antes de irnos, ¿ok? Because of the time. When was the last time you attended a training? Do you remember? Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. When was? ¿Cuándo fue? On January, muy bien. In this year. In, or in January, this year, ¿ok? Muy bien. And what was the training about, guys? Oh, the training was, oh, the training when, um, was about? Was about the monitoring beers mm -hmm. and the use the transmissores. The use of chip, dijimos la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Este, yes. No sé si María José o Morelia o alguien nos dijo el chip, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Somebody else? When was the last time you attended a training, guys? In my case, two days ago. Well, one day ago. Yesterday? Okay, yesterday. Yes. Okay, and what was the training about? Um, it was about um, fishing, okay. I think. Really? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Interesting, right? Okay, so somebody else? Teacher. Uh huh, please. It, it was water treatment. It was? Water treatment. Ah, water treatment. Yeah. Okay. In the morning. Yeah. Excellent. In the morning today. Yes. Okay. So you are recently received that training. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations. Somebody else wants to participate and answer the questions? When was the last time you received a training? Or you attend a training? It was last year, it was last month, it was yesterday, it was the last week or the last weekend. What was the last time? La última vez. In July, the year past. Okay, yesterday. No, in July, the year past. El año pasado. On July, okay, last year on July. July. Okay. Perfect, excelente, George. Thank you so much. And what was the training about? ¿De qué se trató el training? Más o menos, ¿de qué era? You don't remember? <laughs> Conmigo era, perdón. Ah, ok. <ríe> eh, eh, Publications. Communication. Ok, perfect. Ok, thank you so much. Somebody else wants to give her or his opinion about the question? No? Nobody? Okay. Ok. Uh, it was one year ago and was about a new food for pets. A new? New food for pets and also better. Ah, new food for pets. Okay, so yes. excellent. Thank you so much. One year ago, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Somebody else? Maritza? Enoch? Mm -hmm. I forgot. You forgot? <laughs> you don't remember? No. Okay, no worries, Marita. That's okay. Okay, guys. What time is it? I see you like... It's time. It's time ten. to pass the list. <laughs> 10 <laughs> o'clock. No, it is not 10 o'clock. <laughs> You would like, right? You oh, would minutes. like, but it's not like this, right? <laughs> we wow. we have three minutes more, okay? I'm going to pass the list for a second time. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, it's <a> okay, teacher. <laughs> Excellent. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Where are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alex and Ramirez Ramirez Salazar. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Present, teacher. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zuni Galdana. Present. Thank you. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Freddy Ricardo Landa Verde. Here. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Thank you. María José Escobar Portillo. Present. Thank you, María José. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. Present. Thank you. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, Michael. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Thank you, Morelia. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present, teacher. Ok, ok, Lili de Jesús Mésica Carranza. Verónica Lisset Portillo de Castro. Present. Ok, perfect. So, this is the, first, the second time that we pass the list. Ok, now, this day, we have time to pass the list for a second time. Now, I'm going to ask you, do you make the homeworks? Go on con las homeworks. Comamos con el final. Finish, ok, finish. Ahí vi unos que estaban completitos ya con 100. Esos me gustan, mire todo. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. The great, the perfect grade, right? 100. You got 10 at the end of the course, ok. Remember that while the course didn't finish, you can correct that, ok. You can me get amo, the, the 100%. Ajá, uh -huh, Daniel. Veámoslo, veámoslo. Veámoslo, veámoslo. One minute, okay. One minute. <risa> Solo porque a los terminaste, ya vi que tenía 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Ayer estuve viendo, no te creas. One minute. Ya los terminó, ok. Congratulations for that, Daniel. Thank you. You're welcome. Somebody else? Have questions about that? No? No. Do you want to go to the bed right now? Yes. 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 Si todos me dicen yes, los, los despacho. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> pues, está bien. Entonces, niños, pues nada más desearles una excelente noche, ¿verdad? Que descansen muchísimo y nos vemos el día de mañana primero en interior. ¿Ok? Thank, Thank you. you so much bye. and have a nice Good day. Night, bye bye and take care. Bye, bye, bye everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hoy todos tienen sueño. Sí, todos estos. Flash. Qué malo. Qué malo. Eso porque te, te conectaste tarde, ¿verdad? No, me conecté temprano. No, si estaba temprano, hoy sí. Ocho con seis. Lo que pasa es que decís. 8 con 6 ya estaba ya. 8 con 6, ah, hasta el tiempo medio lo tienes. No. Estaba durmiendo. Estaba durmiendo. Me conecté. Sí, así te vi, no hablaba así primero, ¿verdad? Hasta que te pregunto. No, hasta que le dije que me metiera de nuevo desde el teléfono. Ah, por eso es que decías que estaba, y se me hacía raro que dos años, yo también, porque estaba dos países, decía yo. Pero no, no me imaginé que, que estabas conectada desde dos dispositivos, ¿verdad? ¿vale? Primera vez que hago eso, así que no lo volveré. First time, ok. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, pues, te veo el día de mañana. Tempranito, well, please, and don't sleep. Bye bye, take okay, care. Bye bye. Bye bye.